know, it has to be the pick. If you're going to reach for hate, you have to take Barton. Here's a much better football player than Mike Haight. All right, so the New York Jets have uh, given their card to the commissioner. Let's go up to the podium. New York Jets. New York Jets first round selection. Fullback. Roger Vick, Texas A&M. Roger San Vick. Francisco 49ers. And I can tell you something right now that they just keeled over in the 49ers draft room because <laughs> right. Roger Vick was the guy who they wanted, the fullback who can block for Roger Craig, he can catch the football, and the Jets have taken Roger Vick. But you know what? Their best backs are McNeil, Hector, and Hector. Tell They're me. little guys who also got hurt. Tell they me. only use Page to block, really. Here is a guy that can do a lot of things, can catch the ball coming out of the backfield. It makes sense uh, uh, for the Jets, but the 49ers now are going, oh, we thought we got Vic. Now they probably have to look to maybe Barton, maybe Bruce Armstrong. What do you think of the Jets pick with hey, Vic? You have to think Vic might have been the best player on the board there, but when you take a guy like Mike Haight last year, and then you take a guy like Doug Williams in the second round, you have a guy like Barton, you have a guy like Ricosi sitting there who have to grade out much higher than a guy like Haight, who I believe they reached for last year. I think they knew it. Uh, I would have gone Barton in this position. I think the offensive line really needed shoring up for the Jets. I think, uh, you know, in the second round, if you're looking for a fullback, I think you could have got a guy like Akoi, maybe a guy like Tommy Agee. Uh, there's some other fullbacks down the road, a Jamie Mueller from Benedictine, I think, could have developed into a pretty good player. But Vic, you know, he did well with Hector, an AM player. They needed a fullback, but I would have gone Barton. Okay, but the Jets won Vic, and Larry Burnett has gone up to the, uh, the masses upstairs in the balcony, and... Uh, I'm sure we could find a few Jets fans. Larry. And we managed to find a couple of them up here. We've got uh, Dr. Dave and right. Dr. Ken, uh, who are uh, Jets fans. Uh, Jets had a rotten draft last year. Let's face it. What do you think of their first pick here, Roger? Uh, well, anything would have been better than last year. I didn't look for them to get a fullback at all. I thought they had more needing, uh, they had more pressing needs in the pits, and either side of the lines would have been okay. Taking this pick is not the great pick. It's okay. <laughs> Look, Vic, Vic is going to help them. They need a blocking back for McNeil and Hector. There's no question about it. Absolutely, they need it. I mean, Tony Page is not going to do it anymore. Now, Ufa, it doesn't make it. <laughs> but they really have more needs on defense. And hopefully the next 11 picks are going to be mostly on defense. Because they're hurting over there. Well, the, the, the thing that we would like is to have a draft choice that makes the team. That would help. That would be a real <laughs> big help. didn't have any last year. Right, well, you know, Mike Haight did eventually, and Nufa Ola did eventually, right. He, uh, my, uh, we traded our second round. We released our second round pick, Doug Williams. I'm not, uh, somebody who makes the team will make us happy right now. <laughs> It'll be a start for a better year next right, year. Now, so which Jets are going to come out in 1987? The ones that started the 86 season or the ones that finished? It really depends on how the surgery went off season. They had a lot of guys having no surgery. They had Sweeney, they had Banker, McElroy. All these guys had you surgery. Yes, medical people that question. We give you a medical <laughs> answer. By the way, what, what are you guys going to practice when you get uh, get into uh, actual practice in medicine? I'm going to be working with athletes in their eyes. That's my field. And I'm going to be an intern. In fact, I just sponsored a race over at the hospital. So we're both into sports, and we love sports medicine as well. And already we're getting a second opinion on the uh, New York Jets' first pick of the 1987 draft. We'll come back and talk to these guys a little bit later. Let's take a break, and we'll be back to New York in a little bit as we continue with our coverage of the 1987 draft for the Marriott Marquis. Right